I grew up here. As a child, it was just, it's all I knew. All the people I've ever met in this world, I've never seen anybody work like my mom and dad. They would just work their fingers to the bone every day. It was amazing to grow up in that kind of environment. It taught me what hard work was and family values. We were very close, and that's incredibly important to me. In the summer, we'd hay together, pick rocks, you know, helped out wherever we could fit in. All that quality time that we had growing up here on the farm as kids shaped us. It's such a small town, you know, and by junior year I was looking at colleges and I wanted to get away from Skowhegan. So I was gone for, you know, four years and then I uh, traveled for a little bit, worked in Burlington, working the whole nine to five job. We lived in a tiny apartment and I was used to fields all around, you know, and animals and the smells and the sounds of the farm. <laughs> versus the, the beeping and the, <laughs> the cars and commotion. As time went on, I just felt the pull back here because I missed my family a lot. And I realized getting to an age where I started to think about kids and think about how I'd want to raise my kids, I thought I wouldn't want it any other way than how I was raised. Definitely took time. But when we did come back, I was ready, totally ready. So we moved back and started working on the idea of it, how to farm, what we should do. And at that time, this local community was starting this little food hub, and um, there was a lot of emphasis on local food, organic. We started to play around, making all sorts of different kinds of cheese, and trying to figure out what other people were making around here, what they weren't, what I enjoyed making. Uh, and so we started to have cheese tastings with our family and friends. So that whole process, it was a year of just trying different recipes, figuring out what I wanted to make, uh, figuring out what the uh, opportunities were in the market. And so I, I was focused on a whole milk ricotta and a Gouda style cheese. My first farmer's market was in Farmington. Having that first summer of farmer's markets and like making something and seeing someone eat it and smile and say like, that's so good. That was a huge turning point for me. I'm like, oh, I, I like to make something with my two hands and then s see people enjoy it and feel good about what I'm doing, you know. It took me about five years to perfect the process of making my whole milk ricotta. But I still have to be on my toes. I mean, every time the seasons change, the milk changes, the cows are eating a little bit differently, the weather, I mean, everything comes into play. When I add my ingredients, it's down to the teaspoon, and I've done it so many times that I can see in the color of the milk what I need to do, what I need to shift, but I've done it long enough now where I can kind of see that. so much character on the farm as a place and with the animals and the people and it just brings me a lot of joy to see Meryl running around here. I want that for her. I want what I have had and it just it makes me so happy to see her in this environment. It's what I'd want. It's what I always wanted when I thought about having kids. I want to be here as long as I can if not forever and appreciate every day that I'm here.